What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI here. I have another Dell Optiplex 9010 mini tower and today will be upgrade. So we're going to move the side cover panel. Here's a latch. And I'll be upgrading uh power supply. I'll be going to be upgrading the hard drive to solid state drive. We're going to be upgrading the memory and upgrading to video card like for light gaming. Show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna first uh, remove the power supply and make sure you guys wear latex gloves and you will need a Phillips screwdriver. First you're gonna disconnect the four pin right there. You see right there for the power and it's you got a little clip right here. You take your finger here, release the clip, secure clip. And same with the 24 pin, there's gonna be a little clip right here. Can you see right here in the middle? So what you take your finger and you to release the lock right here is a little secure clip click it's right there you press on your finger to release the clip secure clip for the lock it locks in so you got 24 pin removed now you're going to remove the optical drive the power right there and you can disconnect from the from the hard drive right here and uh what we're going to do is remove the four screws in the back to use a phillips screwdriver to move the four screws here So here's the four screws that we have to remove from the power supply. Now what you have to do is, uh, you see the little clip right there? Where I'm pointing my screwdriver right there? That's a secure clip, it holds the power supply. So what you have to do is you have to press it down like this to release the clip. And you're gonna take the power supply and it slides. And just remove the power supply and it comes right out. Now what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install a new power supply. But do before doing that, I'm gonna be upgrading the memory, and I'm gonna be installing a total uh, eight gigs, and it's a nine, it's a nine ECC on buffer desktop memory. Again, a nine ECC on buffer memory. You can use a Kingston, Crucial, or Corsair. Those are top three brands I like. So DDR3, nine ECC on buffer memory, desktop memory. You have to use. So install the memory. And we install total 8 gigs dual channel. And you're gonna hear two clicks when you install the memory properly. And the way you install, you see right here, the the first one is number one right there, and number two is another white slot right here, the dual channel. And you're gonna hear two clicks when the memory installed properly. So we install total 8 gigs of memory. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna be show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive. So you disconnect the SATA and you're going to take the hard drive right here, you take your fingers to release the hard drive caddy just like this and it comes right out. And the caddy plastic and it bends like this and it comes right out. And upgrade another hard drive, really easy, here's another hard drive I have. And you're going to take this hard drive plastic caddy and it's got, see the mounting holes right there. And you just realign the holes right there really easy. And install the new hard drive. And I'll show you guys how to install the solid state drive. Just like that. And just install it back. And you're gonna connect the SATA cable. So now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna be installing the power supply back. And I'm gonna be using guys is uh I'm gonna be using the Antec. It's a VP uh, 450. That's good enough. It's Antec power supply, pretty good. It's a 450 watt. The model is a VP 450. You guys can use the same one if you want. It's pretty great. It's, uh, it's got a so we're gonna go install it. And it should slide right in. Hold on, let me see. So install the power supply. Now you're gonna 
put the screws back on there, four screws back, and we're gonna connect the 24 pin first. And the four pin. I'm gonna go right there in the corner, top right corner. And we're gonna be installing, connect back the city cable for the power right here for the city power. And you're gonna connect the optical drive power right there. And uh, what you guys have to do is use cable ties to make it nice and neat. Get you get a cable ties and to get the wire management here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the video card. So there's a little clip right here. So you just take your finger. See right here the clip. You press it down with your finger gently. It's just for the PCI bracket secure clip. And what you're going to do is you're going to move PCI brackets right there. And you're going to move two of them. Here's the PCI brackets you have to remove. And we're gonna be installing the video card. I'm gonna be installing guys a GTX uh, 950. And there's a different kind, I got a Asus uh, GTX uh, 950 mini. This doesn't require six pin power. And MSI GTX 950 requires a six pin power because this is overclocked video card and they both got both DVI-I and the HD mine display ports on and about the same measurement. So you guys, uh, it's about, the video card measures about close to seven inches. You can use, and uh, you can install GTX 960, GTX 1050, and a GTX 1070 mini. You can install the video card here, perfectly fine. So guys, I'm gonna be using the MSI now I'll show you the box. Here's the box for it. MSI G4 GTX 950. It's a pretty good video card. Or you could use the uh, Asus. Pretty good too. Video card, really good. And I'm going to install the video card. So you're going to install the video card through PCI Express X16 slot right here, the blue slot. That's where we're going to install the video card. And guys, uh, the power, the processor upgrade. It's going to be separate video. I'm going to do upgrade the processor and a tear down. That'll be separate video. I'll be uploading. So you guys I'm installing the video card. You're going to right here through the PCI Express X16 slot. You're going to make sure you remove the two PCI brackets right there. That's what the, the video card is using. So installing the video card. And you're going to clip it back in here. Now we're going to take the six pin power from the power supply and connect it to the video card. Just like that, really easy. And what I recommend doing is buy cable ties, get this wire management here. And what we have to do now guys is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to upgrade to solid state drive. So to do that, you disconnect this power and SATA cable Remove the hard, the hard drive caddy plastic and disconnect the hard drive. And you have to buy this plastic caddy right here. It's from a Dell. I'll give you guys a part number right now. It's uh, 0R494D. This is the Dell part number for this hard plastic caddy right here. You have to buy again 0R494D, and that's a Part number for this plastic caddy that you have to buy online, they sell, and you can install any 2.5 inch solid state drive in here, and it works perfectly fine with that, with this Optiplex 9010. So we're gonna take this caddy right here, when you install the solid state drive, you see this scroll, the part number right here, the chrome? That's how you install the solid state drive like this. Any 2.5 inch solid state drive will work. And actually you can install a, hard, a laptop hard drive 2.5 inch too if you want. So you're gonna take this caddy right here, See like this, and where the, where the chrome part is, it'll be in the right side. So you're gonna take this like this, and install it, and it clips right in, just like that. 
And what you're gonna do is uh, install and it's really easy. And before we do that, what you, for you forgot to tell you guys, you have to buy SATA cable flat right here. See this cable right here, SATA cable? It's actually L shape. And we have to buy, you have to buy the cable SATA straight SATA cable. Because when you install the L shape, it will not fit. You cannot install it. It's, see like this, you cannot. So you have to buy the SATA cable online. It's a straight SATA cable that you have to buy for installing the solid state drive. So you're going to disconnect the L shape cable SATA from the motherboard and install the newer one, the flat one and just install it and you're going to install SATA cable to connect it to the solid state drive and the power just like that and just install it back so first you're going to disconnect it and install the, so the, the hard drive, solid state drive back then you're going to connect the SATA cable just like that and you're done and that's how you install a solid state drive and uh, I'll show you guys the last part so it's only 11 minutes I got a few more minutes left and I'll show you guys uh, the other power supply you can buy uh, you can use a CX Carsair CX600 this works perfectly fine because I'll tell you guys why some power supplies will not work because this measures around five and a half inches same with that one five and a half inches and the power supply like this TX TX650 and this is a little bit bigger it's a better power supply but it's about six inches and it will not fit because the latch right here it will be blocking it so you have to cut off the latch so I recommend going the power supply with the five and a half inches see this right here it's a lot wider the TX you see the the TX is wider that one's about six inches this is about five and a half and the the, the six inches about that would not fit because the latch right here is blocking it but if you break off the latch your side cover panel the the, the latch is not going to work so you can still use it but you have to put the screws on the back instead of using the latch. So I would honestly go with uh, I would go with uh, the CX600 they make, the CX500, or you can go with the CX430 power supply. It works perfectly fine. They bought the same length. So, so you guys, uh, this is uh, so we upgraded the the memory. We upgraded the video card, power supply, and the hard drive to solid state drive for Dell Optiplex 9010 mini tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.